All right, everyone. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to try a new video. You know, let's see what happens with this one. What the f- I, I could have sworn I just sat down. Wait, well, can't be. Alright, we'll go to this my old spoiler kind of topic. I just wanted to make a fun video with this and kind of bring about the topic of who made the better hole? The world and Dio against Kakyoin or King Crimson against uh, uh, Bruno Bucciarti? Now, Bucciarti is the one that's recent and, you know, it's, it's, it's a fresh, you know, wound for everyone, including Bucciarti, if you know what I mean. Honestly, I just wanted to compare the two because they're really similar and uh, honestly, and people were commenting on my reaction and were being ruthless with Kakyoin and mentioning him. So, you know, p uh, press F. So, all I wanted to mention was that we're going to compare both of them and then we're going to see which one was the better whole uh, pause on that. So... We're going to start off with Dio in part 3 against uh, Kakyoin. Now, I think this one's really important and really, you know, a lot more heart-wrenching in a sense. But both of them are heart-wrenching. The reason is, is because Kakyoin was a main character for the entirety of part 3. And then at the end, he sacrificed himself to, like, figure out Dio's stand. And because he didn't know the power of Dio's stand, he pretty much got one-shotted. And the darkness about this is that... He didn't even realize he was dead until he hit the water container. So, I mean, so he, the only good thing is like, sure, he felt pain after, but he didn't feel the fist go through him. Like, he was frozen in time while the world, you know, hit him in the stomach and went through him. And I think it was a lot, a lot less painful than the one we're going to talk about next. Again, mild spoilers. If you haven't, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you enjoyed. So, we're going to move on to that one for part five. Now, part five, okay, Bruno is a very interesting character, a really great character, a really determined character, an amazing character. Uh, one would say an even better character than Kakyoin. Uh, the reason why I think this one is probably more brutal than the first one, even though the first one he wasn't aware of him being like dead pretty much, this one, I think what really sold this one was definitely the sound design on the episode itself. Now, again, I'm just comparing the animes, not really the mangas uh, either. The reason why I say that is because when King Crimson shows behind him, shows up behind him and starts to go through his stomach while talking to him, you hear the crunching and like the spine breaking and like the, you know, the stomach and the flesh and everything. And then he just goes right through him. And you can argue it was probably even more so than, than the world against Kakyomi because here he like put his whole like hand like fist through it and his whole like up to like probably his elbow while I think the world just punched through him and like probably cut off at like the, sh uh, the the forearm and then Dio kicked him away so uh, the other important thing is that obviously he's pretty much the leader of the group and we all know that Giorno is like the main character he's gonna defeat whatever the boss but the idea of like the leader being off is also really like changing for this story too because the story is very predicated and this and it, it's basically it it factors a lot with the group itself so you you know you you're going through this trip as like a family so every one of these characters are like Jorno's not even my favorite character of the entire group it's mista and then probably bruno then Jorno. but like you know so everyone is such a cool like diverse character that when bruno got hit we all felt it and we all shut up you know we all pressed f now the only other thing I can think of between both of them is that Kakyoin's had more of an impact because he figured out uh, the world's ability and managed to tell or convey the message to Joseph. Now, again, I haven't read the manga. We're going to see in the next part whether or not Bruno kind of survives or whatever and manages to tell uh, Jordan and everyone about uh, King Crimson's time ability. Now, that's another thing we're going to talk about is both of the stand abilities. We gotta remember that they're different, they're not entirely the same. Uh, Bruno, uh, what's it called, King Crimson, as he said, is that he skipped time and leapt through it. And basically his ability works is that uh, he'll basically put you a couple seconds into the future, but you won't remember how you got there. So, it's a little weird. It's a little bit, it's a lot more different than 
Dio, where Dio is like just outright just stopping everything, stopping time, obviously except Joe Throw with that ass pull. But he stops time in general, and he has like at the by the end of it he has nine seconds that he can lead, uh, lead it to before his demise. But before you know the beginning it was five. So that's the difference between their ability is that either like both of them they're not aware of it, but none of them go into the future. They, everyone gets halted for a couple seconds. For Dio and the other one, you pretty much leap into the future for a couple seconds. Now, who made the better hole? Oh, okay, in my opinion, I think, I think, hmm, this is interesting. I think King Crimson made the better hole. Now, you wanted to say why? Uh, because, here's the thing, like I mentioned before, the fact that part five's whole idea is like going with this mafia group and like this family of like him and Jordan are pretty much like the same in terms of motivation. But Bruno to me was a little bit more of an interesting character while Kakyoin was just like a MILF hunter. But can I say that? Anyway, Kakyoin was a, you know that and he was noble and everything and you know whatever and uh, Emerald Splash, woo. But I'm not going to disrespect them. Both of them are really iconic characters, but I think Bruno is a little bit more interesting. And the fact that he's also the leader of the group is also a very, very big thing because now we're going to deal with the repercussions, you know, how it's going to reverberate throughout the entire group and Mista, Fugo, you know, Jono and everyone. Uh, I'm an Abakio, especially Abakio because Abakio has a lot of respect. So I think that this one was more impactful and the better, you know, whole made. Aside from, you know, uh, Kakyoin's whole pause. This this whole video is a pause. Like, if you saw the video and you were expecting a kind of serious video, I mean, it was like a little bit serious. If you really saw the title of the video and you were expecting a, like, a crazy, like, you know, strategic and smart video, then no, this ain't it. But hopefully it was a little bit funny for you guys and entertaining and a little bit of a weird discussion. You know, obviously, Jordan's Bizarre Adventure, so the discussion itself was bizarre. Uh, who do you what do you guys think? Who made the better hole? What do you tell me what you guys think down below? You think Kakyoin got it worse or do you think uh, Bucharty got it worse? Because you also keep in mind, Bucharty felt every single inch of that arm go through his stomach, while Kakyoin was just in frozen time and he didn't feel it until he got kicked and put back in the in time. So. All right, this whole video needs to end. All right, make sure you guys do a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Share the video if you enjoyed. Um, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. We're trying to get to 100, or not 100, 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Uh, just putting it out there because I love mentioning it because I want to keep you know, putting it in the air for positive vibes. And make sure you guys comment down below which was the whole you liked. And all right, yeah, I'm getting out of here. No more whole mention. Bye.